exactly where I gotta take this shit. Oh god, he's right, right there. Fuck. Okay. This game is pretty much just how I remember it, to be frank. There, it's, it's pretty much the same. It's like, I never identified why I liked Resident Evil 2 so much when I was younger, and now that I'm older, I'm able to identify it. Like, it makes a lot more sense when you go back and you play it now and you're able to realize, like, that's why this game is so good. Um, and you don't really think about it when you're playing it. But, uh, yeah, this game's a bit... This game's a bit boring. There's just something about it. It's not a bad game. I think it's like a solid 7 out of 10. Like, it's good. It gets like, it gets like, uh, it gets like a B minus. Oh shit. Oh, I'm getting fucked up by dogs now. Hold on a second. I'm talking shit about the game. I'm giving it, I'm giving it a B. So it's getting mad. A plus or no way. A plus or fuck off. Uh, over here. And it's not specifically like it's bad. It's, it's a lot like RE0. It's, it's like RE0 without having to deal with the item management problem. This is just me opening up a door again. I'm getting access to this room. Okay, so... I now have access to the other save room. But I don't think I have access to this door. Fuck. Okay. Well... That unfortunately didn't lead to anything. How do we get the gas to get out of that fucking room? Maybe I have to go back to, uh... How do we get the gas to get out of that room? Yeah, maybe the place I took the emblem from? Wherever the fuck that was. Uh, that was out the elevator. So I gotta go straight. Yo, ma there it is. Uh, Majestic Jester, thank you, dude. What the fuck? Oh, we solved this early. Yeah, I solved this shit early. Yeah, I so we solved that with the power of HD. And it finished ventilating. There we go. Now we got it. These zombies are gonna come back to life. Probably. Yep. Um... The elevator. I don't think I ever have to come back here ever again. Let's get back to the first floor in the elevator. Yo, Spoony one, thank you, dude. Like, it's still enjoyable. It, like, the Resident Evil formula is so good, where you just... figure out, like, where the items go, where to go, get good at it, backtrack, get this done. But it's just, like, the level of backtracking, and whether or not that's frustrating or not.
Yep, that's green now. Okay. Okay. Making our way around. Green? Yeah, I think I I think I remember Chris's part of this campaign being a lot more fun back in the day too. But yeah, my kind of opinion on Code Veronica being not amazing um is still the same. And it was weird because so many people were so attached to this one. When he was like Code Veronica is like the best one, I'm like I don't know. Maybe it's just down it's completely down to personal preference, I guess. That's gone. I go get the painting, and then I take that all the way back to the palace? Or some shit? The doorknob is missing. Guess I don't need to go there. It's the best RE game on Dreamcast? Yeah. Well, they are, RE also, they had RE2 and 3 on Dreamcast. So they had a little bit of everything. Uh... Any other items we got in here? Yeah, I'd imagine the minigame and the extras in this are probably really fun. Acid Browns. Larry, but you can't go over his body? What the fuck? Alright. I need you to take that painting. And wait for the monster to pop out of this. Yeah. Once I as soon as I take the painting, right? Contamination detected. Level three. Emergency shutters will close. All personnel evacuate I want to try to kill one. Music's kicking the fuck in, that's for sure. Uh-oh. Again? Have to make a combat dodge? Flare? No, just go very slow. That guy took like 15 shots to put down. Did you see that? That thing would not want to die. Alright, so we got the second painting. I'm pretty sure I gotta get back to, uh... I'm, once again, I have to go backtrack to that one spot. And, uh... Yeah, I think I just gotta go to the actual... other house. Ah! What the fuck are you hitting me, dude? The game can't even register that you're there. Dude! That's insane. Guys, his hitboxes are crazy. No? Where where the fuck is it? Penny's going to room in the training facility. In the training facility. It's in the basement of the training facility. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Those enemies are just designed to take away health from you. Shut up. Ah! 
There's hospital-like scenes in this game. Not like directly a hospital. Ah, thank you, Spoony One. Oh shit. Should be dead. Three for his ass. You see that one that hooked around? Alright, I gotta take this somewhere. Is it B1F? Is it basement 1F? I think it is. No wait, this is wrong. This this is wrong. the one behind me. Is it the one in front of me? Is it this? Yeah. Okay. Keys and herbs and everything. Figure out what the hell this gold key goes to. It's a diorama model after the facility. There's a hole to put something in. So there, there, once again, I gotta come back here. I can't get to those items back there, though. I think that's probably for Chris. Um, yeah, only keg. So I got the gold thing. Uh, that went to something I think, and basement one F, where I thought it was two two crest emblem things, but it wasn't. It said you need a. Uh, it said you need like a golden key, and I was like, what the fuck, really? Uh, Hachitsuki, thank you. I believe that was in Basement 1F. I believe. But I can't remember exactly. Or was it First Floor Mansion? Is that First Floor Mansion or Basement 1F? Mansion? Okay. Get the fuck out of here. We're backtracking. Wait a minute, I'm on first floor. Wait a minute, wait, wait. Got all confused. Yeah. yeah, but yeah I'm glad I killed those two Dalsum guys because they would have been a pain in the ass.
Yeah, I mean, that's the idea, Zarkonos, is that, yeah, you leave the mansion for a bit, and then when you do come back, it's different. Um, and you spent some time away from it, you know? Okay, okay, okay. Um... Straight ahead. And then down at the end here, on the right, and voila! That was the only use for the gold key. Okay. Uh, what are we looking at in here? Lovely room. Memory of Alexander Ashford's succession. Message to the new family master. Congratulations on your succession of the master of the Ashford family. I hereby present to you, present you with the earthenware vase according to the Ashford family tradition. As you may know, this tradition uh, first began when a butler presented a golden teacup as a commemorative to Veronica. As founder of the Ashford family, her intelligence and beauty are legendary. Uh, the second and third master, Stanley, and his son, son Thomas were also presented with similar teacups. It was their hope to achieve glory as Veronica did before them. The position of family masters then shifted from Sir Thomas to his twin brother, Sir Arthur. It then went to Sir Edward, your grandfather, and that was when the Ashford family enjoyed its golden age. It was also Sir Edward's achievement that established the large chemical enterprise Umbrella Inc. However, when Sir Edward passed away, and your father, Sir Alexander, succeeded the position, the glorious Ashford family gradually began to sink. I sincerely hope that Ashford family gains its glory with your guidance, just as the vase continues to shine eternally. Grace the Ashford legacy to the true master, there is a button below. Uh-oh. Don't do that anymore. Don't do that anymore. Oh, it's like the fucking... The tea set. Um, the vase. Tea set, the vase. Woman with the tea set. Man with a candlestick. Uh, red haired man. Earthenware plate. Okay. Where the fuck is that document? Where the fuck is that document? I didn't realize that that memo was going to be. Es muy importante. Um, okay, tradition. Uh, number one is golden teacup. Number two is teacups. Wait, the second and third masters, Stanley and his son Thomas. So, one, two, and three are teacups. Right? Position of family master shifted. Sir Arthur. Okay. However, when Sir Edward passed away, is it the position? Here we go. 
let's see. First one's Veronica, so that probably is Veronica right there. I'm guessing. This guy with a plate. Uh got the vase. Nope. Fuck, I don't want to do that. Let me reset. Complete global saturation. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Not press anymore. Let's go with Veronica first. That one. Is this not anything here? No. There is no ambient music in this room. Um. Oh god, what was the order? Was it the... The guy with the twins? Or... Uh, it represents you, then the vase is the last one. The vase. When a butler presented a golden teacup as a commemorative to Veronica, so Veronica's the first. The second and third masters, Stanley and his son, Thomas, were also presented with similar teacups. It was their hope to achieve glory as Veronica before them. Okay, so they should be second. I think it's the, uh, the babies. This order should make sense right here. Then this one. Okay. And then this one. And was it the vase after that? This one's fun. I'm actually digging this. No, not the goddamn map. Go left. Thank you. Uh, da -da -da. Those were shipped from Sir Thomas to Sir Arthur, they went to Sir Edward, your grandfather. That was when... the vase. Wait. Yeah, I was about to say twins. This is a red-haired man? No. Red-haired man. Yeah, okay. So then it's this one. And then I'm going to guess it's the vase last. Then this one. And then this one. Maybe deductive logic? Fuck it. <laughs> Try the other order. Um, Veronica, and uh, I press this guy first, right? I think I gotta do try plate man with red haired man, and then twin guy with. Danger. Danger. I'll give this one a shot. 
I just, I just mixed around the order. I just want to see if it works. No. Um. Stop making the noise! I think it's that guy, and those are the... Yeah, okay. So if I think about that in chronological order, it's the guy with the babies first. And then... No, not not yet. No, then it would be the guy with the cup, and the guy with the plates. I might not he need to hit all of them, because I realize that there are items in here that are not specifically for the puzzle like the candlestick is not in, is not mentioned the uh shit like that i don't know that or veronica isn't the first one which might be the case i think that might be the case let me read the document again now that i have a good understanding of what all of them do Okay, uh... Present you with an earthenware vase, according to the Ashford family tradition. So that should be the last one. As you may know, the tradition first began when a butler presented a golden teacup as a commemorative to Veronica. So Veronica should be the first one. As founder of the Ashford family, the intelligence and beauty are legendary. Okay. The second and third masters, Stanley and his son Thomas, were also present with similar presented with similar teacups. It was their hope to achieve the same glory. So hmm. position and family masters shifted from Sir Thomas to his twin brother, Sir Arthur. So So it, it goes from, I believe, not the twins in order. I gotta find the golden one, because that's the first one. That's the first one. Who's got the golden teacup? No, that's the wrong one. That's a regular teacup. That doesn't specifically look golden. Oh. It doesn't say golden tea set. Uh... So Veronica is definitely the first one. Like, that makes the most sense. And then the guy with the babies, which represents the two twins. So, I would do this one second, and then we have to do the two twins. We get them in order. Candlestick guy is like out of the question. Uh, let me go back and read this. Veronica, blah, blah, blah. Second, third percent. The position of family masters has shifted from Sir Thomas to twin brother Sir Arthur and went to Sir Edward, your grandfather. They are presented with similar teacups. Okay. Okay. So this this order right here is the part that really gets me. Where it's like, which one of these two come next? This redhead? Or this redhead? I'm guessing it's 
him first. And then him. I'll read the candle wick again. Oh, I forgot about that. Shit. Memory of Alexander asks for its secession. Oh. Oh, the candle wick is last. Oh, fuck. forgot about that clue. That's the succession item. Yeah, that was it. That was it. I forgot about that clue that you first get when you come in here. And it's that, that is the item. That's like the big gimmick, is that the vase is back here. Gotcha. That was a fun puzzle. Yeah, that was actually, that was probably the best Resident Evil puzzle. Uh, outside of the the painting puzzle with the birds in Resident Evil 1. Sicarius, thank you, dude. Base Goku and Base Vegeta confirmed for Dragon Ball? Really? Well, I mean, we already knew that, right? I mean, we already knew that. Is there a trailer? Let me check my Twitter. Oh damn, I see something awesome that I am definitely retweeting right here, right now. Uh, man, I think that a new that that news must have just fucking come out because I don't even see anything on Twitter. But yeah, Silicon Era is talking about it. But we already we've already kind of known that for a while. Anyway, where the hell does this vase go? Maybe there's something on the bottom of it. Aha! Smash the vase! The vase! Okay, we're on the way. It's go time, motherfuckers. So now... I gotta get my ass back to Mars. That was a long time we were in that room with no music, dude. Nice. Have a good one, Viet. I just want to try to get to Chris's campaign. I want to see him climb that goddamn mountain. Okay. Doom, doom. Damn, where did I get all these um, fade sprays from, dude? Holy shit, that's a lot. And I definitely had a couple... Or did I not have any acid rounds? Really? Well. I'm running low. I definitely did have acid rounds. Do that. Okay. And yeah, now that we're running low on the um, crossbow bolts, I think I'm going to carry this shit with me. So we just need to get one more gem piece to activate the plane. I'm sorry, one more, um, crest to get the plane working. And we're on our way. Um, wait, that's right, the tower is this way. Thank you, by the way, Sicarius. All right, here we go. Hey, Lob, thanks for the five months, dude. Oh, sh He 
piece of shit. So done with you, dude. Sick of you smacking me in the face every time I run by, and I can't stop it. Oh my god. Wow, the game just literally ammo dumps me. Well, okay then. Okay then. Use the knife more. I had a I had like two hundred bullets. I had two hundred and ten I I was using the knife and killing everything and it was it was like super fucking easy and I was conserving ammo, but I was losing my goddamn mind. I had so much ammunition not that long ago, and I had to- I had to start using it. Mighty Lebeau, thank you. Oh shit. Nice. Take the plate, or can I climb this? No, no, it's still been sealed. I was just checking. I guess I gotta take that to the other room. Shit. Thank you again, Mighty Lobo. Yeah, we got just gotta drop it in here. Hey, donk. And this is an alternate path up. Yeah, that's right. Makes sense. Okay. That is loud as fuck. Finally, dude, I've been looking at this area for so long. Just trying to get up it. My heart's beating. It's pounding. These creepy dolls and shit. Oh, is this just a big circle? It, it certainly is. Climb this. I'm guessing I can move it? Wait, I see, I see a shimmer. There it is.
fuck do I do with a silver dragonfly? Then turn into a key. Certainly is a key. Oh, well, there's a hole. Puzzle God. Just so we can climb this ladder right here. Once again, ink ribbons with no damn box. Fuck. Okay, so there's a box to move. Ten-year-old girl genius graduated at the top of her class from prestigious university. The International Corporation Umbrella Comic was offered the position of head researcher. Ten-year-old girl. Wow. Bullets right here, I see this shit. Oh, I see where I gotta push this to the wall. Yeah. Alexa, my sister, is a genius and possesses unmatched beauty. She is everything to me. I will overcome any obstacle and be willing to risk my life for her. Ooh. For Alexa, I must revive the glorious Ashford family which fell during the era of my father, Alexander. Today we will restore our family name once that has been achieved. This is some inbreeding shit. I'll build a place where nobles may gather. I cannot allow the unwashed to see my dear Alexa. To whom my life is devoted to- Ugh. She reigns the world as queen for I her servant. Oh. This is my dream and how sweet it will be. Those accomplishments would be the proud of my love towards Alexa. Oh. For the purpose of my existence. Other people are meaningless and they sh Oh, Jesus Christ. There we go. We got the thing. The fuck out of here. Ugh. Fuck this, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> fuck this, I'm out of here. This is the noob. Uh, res the Viking. Thank you guys. Okay, we gotta make our way to the submarine now. Oh god. Lair Redfield. Hold it right there. We meet each other at last. A pity I must say goodbye so soon. I am Alexia Ashford. For the pride of the Ashford family, I will kill you. I'd recommend not. Wait! What's going on? Steve! Shot her in the face, the man. Uh, after her! Are you okay? I'm fine. It's just a scratch. Da 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 da! I wonder where this will go. This must be... <laughs> Fucking light him up! Light him up! Right now! What? No! Wait a second. What just happened? Nobody knows, man. 
So there never was an Alexia after all. You mean, he thinks he's two people? Okay, that's it. Let's get out of here. The self-destruct system has been That freak! Activated. He's trying to blow us up along all with the entire facility. Come on, we gotta get to that airport. Right. Oh no, he realized he's two people. Time to blow up everything. What the fuck? What self-destruct? What? I'm so fucking... What? He thinks he's two people. We're gonna blow the place up. That's it. Oh no, I got exposed. He's like the predator when he realizes he lost. So I'm just gonna beep 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 blow it all up. I can't ha I can't hold that L. Can't hold it. Blowing it up. Excuse me, gentlemen. I don't think I'm missing anything out of here, right? No. Nice. <laughs> yeah, right, Ryu. Of all the things that would freak Steve the fuck out about this place, it's that? Alright. That's enough. I'm getting out of here. Up with the weird hobgoblin bandersnatches. This guy's dressed up as a girl. I'm getting out of here. I thought I killed this dickhead. Wait, did I leave an item over here? the document. Um, time to save. Made some incredible progress. Incredible. Soap, thank you for the five, dude. Oh. I actually have a save thing. Good morning from Miami. Just woke up to see you playing some Code Veronica before you go to work in a while. Hope all is well. Thank you, so. And Miami. It's funny when I, I I traveled a little bit to Ohio recently, and I I kind of want to travel again. You get that you get that itch, you know. I just want to keep traveling. Hmm. I'm gonna do this. About to lose all three of those and have a bunch of inventory space. So, do this. He needs a total remaster? I don't know. I'm not specifically captivated by the location or the characters in this game, so I can't really agree. Yeah, I'm going the right way. Get out of here too. Right. Let's go. We beat the game. Here we go. End of the game. All we gotta get to that airport. Oh shit, get out of the way, man. Spin that shit. Steve's just pressing all my buttons right now. Claire's just gonna look at him. This is so weird. I'm just walking, I'm just looking at characters sitting in their neutral poses while the music is going off and they just wait. It's very funny. I just want, I'm just watching Steve run ahead. looking at 
Straight to the left. Steve! Steve, where are you going, man? Good. Yeah, that that was for the lift. You could have just jumped to the plane. You could have just jumped onto the plane. <laughs> and then we go up the stairs. What the fuck? No! We can't take off unless we raise the bridge! Leave that to me. You stay here and make preparations for takeoff. So he's just slapping buttons and shit. You know what the fuck he's doing. It's so weird. Ink ribbon, but no box. Yeah, I find it really funny that Steve fucking Burnside knows how to fly. Oh, there's a box. Wonderful. I'm actually very happy. Um... Okay, so where are we going? We actually have to fucking backtrack? No, we can go this way. Yeah. If I get attacked by bats, I'm gonna be so pissed. Really, I gotta go back here and around. God damn it. Oh no, a knee high wall. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's right here. All the way the fuck up here. Please God, let this be a quick access point to... ...getting to the plane. Please God. you motherfuckers. I don't trust you. Can't jump down here? What the hell? Okay, I guess, I guess let's just run over here to get a key. Yeah, I'll check the key. K402? Yeah, K402. Running forward and backwards. A whole bunch.
Hey, more to Kyle Taria. Thank you. Uh, suddenly, Claire is going to tell... Uh, what's his name? Like, wait! We can't go! We have to go back for that one guy! Is it really, uh, ink? Oh. You want me to save it again? What the fuck, dude? I'm fucking fine. I'll save it again. I'll grab all the items that are in here. like a mighty big box. Can I do something? Okay. I'll save it again. I have so many damn ink ribbons it doesn't even matter. Box puzzles. Can I go through the door now? Five there we go. Minutes until detonation. Cool. Cool. Just sit on this elevator with all these boxes. I will not allow you fools to escape. This is what you get for trying to oppose me. Now feel my revenge. <laughs> A fucking tyrant. And he's got. He's got. Balder hands. Tyrant, Tyrant's got mace hands. Cute. Oh god. Wait a minute. Fucking wait a minute. Are you telling me I gotta run back up to the mansion and then I gotta go back down the submarine and then I just to get the fuck back around to the other side? This game is fucking impressive, man. This shit. This shit is impressive. I am impressed. Good. Fucking Tyrant's tight ass. Hey, hold on to these to me, shithead. You keep bleeding out of your head. Alright. 
dead. Don't worry about it. He dead. Don't worry about that. I killed him. He blew up. So we got 11 rounds. Yeah, the tyrant noticed I was wearing a choker and he got really excited. I gotta get out of here. Yes, amazing cinematic. For Christ's sake. Couldn't you just get in there automatically? We got, I know we have plenty of time. We're gonna make it. We'll be fine. Well, we just did this. Like, literally just did that. Steve's just in the plane, just pushing buttons. Fucking just pressing everything. Doesn't give a shit. What took you so long? I was starting to get worried. No time to explain. Let's go. Right. We're out of here. Time to say goodbye to this death trap. Fucker just said Yahoo. Claire, I'm sorry. I know I caused a lot of trouble for you. No, it's okay. It was hard for both of us. Well, I really hope you find your brother. I I know what it's like to be alone. Oh, Steve. Oh, Steve. <laughs> Where you want to go, Claire? <laughs> I hear Hawaii is nice this time of year. Oh my god, this you is so it. fucking <laughs> bad. <laughs> oh, did that shit just really fade to black? <laughs> oh no! Everything's so fucked! Get the bullets! They're out of the tank! This game is not over yet! Now you will see what real terror is all about! <laughs> <laughs> In my Harrier jet! <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh. <laughs> the smirk. <laughs> this just keeps getting better and better. Hey, what the? The cargo room hatch is open. I'll go back and check it out. Thanks. I've unlocked the cargo room door. I'm 
I'm saving again. I just die. Uh, I'm saving again. I'm saving again. It's not over yet, Snake. It's not over yet. B.O.W. gas round? Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. Yahoo.com Oh, come on. Just get on with it. Just come on. How did you get on the plane? Did she shoot a missile with you on it? He's got a big middle finger now. Cool. Serious operation complete. Catapult ready. Uh, okay, launch the catapult. Oh dear. I'm gonna weaken his ass. Ow. It's my asshole. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, there's the first death. Sure, I'll retry. Wow. Fuck. That'll happen very fast. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I think you just take two hits and you die. You're dead. Okay. Alright. Uh, new strategy. Uh, shoot the fuck out of him with the grenade rounds. Just, just nuke him. Oh my god, please. Oh, should I restart instead of, uh, instead of retrying? This is gonna be bad. Knock me the fuck over. Ow! Oh! <laughs> oh, man. Uh. Ah! Knock me out of the fucking plane. Straight, kick me out. Kick me the fuck out. <laughs> ah! <laughs> uh. <laughs> this bitch. Takes a ton of ammo. Anyone notice how much goddamn ammo this guy takes? Holy shit. Uh. Alright. Alright. New plan. New fucking. I'm gonna expel all this horse shit on this guy. Yo, you hit him enough? I'm- I'm- I'm expecting his ass to, like, fall to the ground. 
That's what I'm expecting. I'm expecting him to like kneel to the ground and then you click the button and he goes flying across. This is a. Uh, this is that bad mix. Oh no, bad mix. Bad mix, man. God, man, what the fuck is with this boss? No, I'll, I'll just, all right. Uh, three BOW, two acid, is that really all it takes? Guns suck. Resident I just Evil. wanted to see what these guns were like, and they kind of suck. Uh, yeah, I'll just try to do three three BOW rounds, two acid, and uh, launch it. Because I, I mean, obviously I have enough fucking ammunition. There hasn't been anything in the game that's been specifically challenging so far until we ran into this big piece of shit. All right, here we go. Oh, B.O.W. cuts and his enemy's health in half. Really? Ring out! <laughs> ring, ring out! It's not a good boss weapon. Yeah, I figured as much. Why am I not using 24 grenades? Because it's slow. Um, and I can't- running past them is specifically kind of hard. See you later, asshole! Wow, that becomes really stupid. When I mean, you know what to do. Like, not even a fight. See you later, asshole! <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. What was wrong? Not that, don't worry about it. Thing. Just a giant cockroach that had to be stepped on. Well, I was fucking making a joke, and the game was literally like, fuck it, I don't care. What's happening? I don't know. The plane just changed direction on its own. It's flying in autopilot mode. I can't switch over to manual control. My apologies, but I cannot let you escape now. <laughs> Alfred! Cross-dressing freak! Whoa. Resident Evil. It is 2018. Alfred can choose or choose not to dress that way. That is completely his or her opinion. And how about you ask him or her how they want to be identified? How about you be a little bit more fucking sensitive about what's going on here? Fucking Code Veronica, chill out. Fuck you little freak! Oh man, he's gonna go on with his anal sex choker. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna make out with her and she's sleeping. I'm gonna touch her hoots. So I'm gonna get a couple feels in there. My name's Steve Burnside, smoothest man alive. <sighs> hey, 
Where are we? Huh? Latitude, 82.17 degrees. Alaska. That's the Antarctic. Oh. We're over the Antarctic. A little bit what? different. Hey, those are the seaplanes that left the island right before us. Then that must mean this place belongs to Umbrella. Alright chat, so that was the uh that was the first half of Resident Evil Code Veronica. And you know what? I'm gonna beat it. When we come back, I will fire up the second half. And I think the second half is a lot better than the first, from what I remember. Once Chris jumps in and you start playing as him a little bit, uh I think the game gets a little just a little bit better. At least that's what I remember. First half not so great. I mean I don't know. We'll see. The good night. Thank you very much, man. Uh, <laughs> the only good thing about this game is how goofy it is. It's so bad, so good. Final thoughts? Um, final thoughts are I want to beat it. Like, I want to. I do want to beat it. So, yeah. That's, that's definitely going to happen.